what's up everybody this is your boy tech supreme and welcome to my channel if you're new here uh this is a kind of a new thing that we're doing we're going to basically do some vlogging uh going into 2023 i want to uh just change it up a little bit do a little bit of some vlogging and you know just have a good time with it i got a whole bunch of equipment so i figured why not i have all the necessary tools to do this so let's give it a go now uh this january of 2023 uh, my wife and i uh, went to cabo uh, to celebrate her 40th birthday this is uh you know uh, it's a big birthday i know for my 40th my wife and a bunch of my friends went down to new orleans and we had a great time so i wanted you know we wanted to make sure that we had a good time celebrating my wife's 40th milestone birthday so we went to cabo went to uh this place called grand Villas, which is a five-star resort um very nice beautiful property as you can see we got there around the evening time so you know we did we weren't able to i wasn't able to do like a proper room tour and again i'm new to vlogging so not exactly the best at you know like setting up the camera and doing my shots i will get better with time uh that's me and uh, that's the room right when we got there so it was super nice super dope um and you're gonna see in this video the room quite a bit uh this is the next morning I, I i was thinking about if i wanted to walk you through it or i just wanted to play the video so i think i'm gonna pop in and out play some of the video you listen to some of the music which i created uh, my name is tech supreme i am a producer from st louis uh and i stuttered so insecure joking uh so yeah just check it out and uh yeah i'll hop back in with a little commentary All right, now, as you can see here, we're, we're just making our way to the pool area and they have three levels of pools. Uh, the bottom level closest to the ocean is the adults only pool. Although it seems like the music and the and the fun was happening in the uh, other pools. The adults pools were super fun too, super cool, super chill. Uh, there was a wedding party here the first few days. Uh, we got there on a Thursday and there was a wedding party uh, for that sa wedding that Saturday for a Chicago Cubs player. They were a, a kind of a younger group, even though they were adults, but they were definitely younger than most of the people in the adults area. And they had that young energy, which was fine. It was a, it was a good time and everyone was respectful. Uh, but those seats right there that you see, those are the seats that everyone Thursday, Friday, Saturday were fighting for. Uh, by Sunday, Monday, it was super chill. You can get one, but everyone was going down there at the ass crack of dawn to get a seat. It was quite funny, um, but there's really no bad seats. This is all about, about preference. I personally, not a big fan of those seats because the sun hits it with no shade and I'm already black. I don't need more sun. Uh, so my, my wife though, you know, she wanted the sun. She, so she definitely was having a good time getting some sun. That's her taking the GoPro underwater. Uh, swim a pool, swim a bar, which uh, as you, if you know about resorts, swim bars, those are always a fun place. This one seems a little bit more catered to service. So like it wasn't a ton of people hanging out by the swim bar. It, it was uh, the, the wedding party the first day night, first full day we were there Friday. They were all hanging out around the swim bar. Uh, but for the most part, the rest of the weekend, it was kind of uh, people come up, get drinks here now and then. But the star of it was the food service by the pool and the drink service. They got you right. They kept you right um they were absolutely magnificent every person who helped us was was awesome uh i have no complaints about the staff staff was top notch through and through our concierge uh louisa i believe her name was she really really took care of us and she made my wife feel so special we went to you know dinner every night and almost i want to say almost nearly every dinner up until her birthday they sang happy birthday for her. It, it was really really special uh, and as you can see in a little bit, uh, we came back to the room for a little surprise. So uh, we're coming up on what 
I think is going to be my favorite part of the video. Uh, some some really cool footage. This is so I believe from December to March or something like that. It's it's well season. So I really didn't put my drone out a lot to capture the, the resort. I did a little bit, but my main purpose uh, for flying my drone was to capture some some good whale footage because I've never seen anything like that before. So as you can see, this was actually me coming back in. I went and I flew out really fast to try to find these whales because you can see the whales like splashing and doing their blowholes in the distance. So I tried to rush out there, but it's really hard to gauge the distance between you and the the object in the ocean. It does it. It's not doesn't equal the same. Like you think it's closer, but it's really super far because there's no obstructions. There's just pure line of sight. So anyway, I did get some cinematic uh, views of the resort. Our room is like seventh floor on the left uh, side. I really can't point to it right now. I'm pointing to my screen like you can see that. But so we had this, this super corner room, super private. It was really nice. Um, yeah. So this is this is me cutting out my frantic look around. And even here, where there was a little fast turn, I thought I saw something in the ocean. And I think that is a whale. I am not 100% sure. That's something. But I have no idea. So I was bringing it back. And at, by this time, uh, we were sitting in the front row where those chairs are. And people in the pool were actually trying to help me find the whales because we were all looking. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm just bringing it back. Just getting some slow cinematic shots so I can use for B-roll like this. You can see my wife standing up and they're pointing and you really can't see this, but some of these people down there, they're, they're looking and then they say, oh my God, they're so close. You gotta, you gotta zoom out there. Now, by this time, the drone was getting about 20%. So uh, as you can see, these rocks, they make it hard because they kind of look like they could be something. So I was, I was getting dejected. It, my battery was getting to 20% and I don't normally like flying from 80, like from full 100% to that low. Um, it's safe here because what would happen is that the drone would just return to home. So it would fly to a certain altitude, um, whether it be higher or lower and then drop down uh, to me. So it's a nice little safeguard. Um, at this point, I'm just scanning and looking. As you can see, I'm getting a little wild with it because I'm, I'm at this point, I'm not going for for cinematic. I'm going for whales and there they are. I was super excited. I think I yelled out like, oh, my God, I see you, you know, like and at this point, it was like, oh, my God, so cool. So then at this point, I fixed my camera on top of them. Now, I want to keep a nice height. I didn't want to get too close because I didn't I didn't I I'm nervous with my drone, right? um so like i didn't want like a blowhole i don't know what i thought like it's not gonna be like a mountain eruption of water but i just wanted to give them enough space plus i wanted to capture their beauty and their size so you could get the, the baby whale and the two parents i believe two parents who knows literally no way of knowing because i'm not a whaleologist and just made it up um so i was so i was showing people around around me i showed these two guys behind me who were working there three guys and like their expressions was so priceless to me he said something in, in spanish um, that was just like, it, it was akin to I Caramba, but kind of, but that's just like my basic American interpretation of it. But like, it was like, he was excited to see it. Like he gasped and like, oh my God, like that's crazy. Cause like, even though they're in that environment and they see it, you don't normally see whales in this perspective. And someone told me like, this is kind of like the perspective of like Discovery Channel. Like it's kind of insane. So that was just super cool. That's honestly, I've been droning for over a year and that's probably my, my favorite drone footage. It's the majesticness, the majesticness, but well, you get it, you know, like the, it's a majestic creature. It's a massive mammal, beautiful creature. It's also terrifying. It was super cool to get that. But then by that point, I started freaking out. So back to concierge and Louisa. Uh, this is what we came back to the room to after all of that. This beautiful happy birthday flower uh, balloons and little uh, confetti things everywhere. Super nice, super sweet great resort we had a great time this is me asking my wife if she had a good time she said this is her favorite one of her favorite resorts so i you know we're going to rate this one you know if we're going to rate resorts i'm going to give it a, a 10 out of 10. um so my my first day there i did not like the people there not the staff staff were always beautifully and the sweet and kind as could be but it was the other people it gave me a lot of karen vibes now keep in mind too that like i felt like a super minority here now uh, I'm a black man 
there was maybe the entire time I was there, five days, there was three other black people who were actually guests there. Uh, everyone else uh, was were white people, uh, non-melanated people. Uh, Cause I mean, there's people from Canada, all across America. Um, I didn't really get a lot of like um, European vibes. I know at other resorts we go to, say if we go to, you know, we go to a resort in Dominican, there's gonna be a lot of European people there. Cause it's not, it's a, it's a little probably a little bit harder for them to get to that side of Mexico. Um, but I felt, I felt the vibes. I felt the Karen vibes. But then that was really uh, dissipated over the course of the days when I started meeting more people. The people were like super sweet, and you know we make we made acquaintances, and we we you know we speak when we saw them. And this one lady who sat behind us on the airplane there, she kept on awkwardly calling like like she was a little like skittish almost, and she was like, "Hey, airplane people." And it was like super funny, but the, you know the the people started you know <laughs> um, I don't know what to say like. They started uh, being super cool. So all that, all those negative vibes were gone after the first day. So that was our trip to Grand Villas, beautiful resort. If you get a chance to go, absolutely go. Um, my name is Tech Supreme. Hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.